So after a bad start that only lasted about a couple of minutes that I mercilessly deleted, uh, I'm going to try this again. Guys, walk that way. They somehow saw something amiss. I don't know what exactly they think they saw. Because, uh, you know, I didn't leave any... I s pff, I because I... But just because I slashed a banner, I thought people were hearing me tapping on the floor, because in this Thief 1 engine, you can't crawl as slowly as you can in Thief 2, therefore, the floor tapping just happens, and I guess I can't slash a banner. That's crazy talking. But it's kind of neat. Like, usually guards don't notice that, and in Thief 3, they made him notice, and I got taken aback in a hilarious way, but uh, this time, uh, yes, I was going to say this... This floor is marble, and it needs to be carpet bombed, and whatever. That's a joke. That's a pun. That's not very. Yeah, these guys don't seem to want to turn around either. It's kind of strange and bizarre, if you ask me. They almost look like they're going to have a conversation. But uh, you know, I guess I guess not. Let's let's just. Let's just wait for these people. Yeah, there, I left your banner intact. There was nothing behind it anyway. <laughs> I mean... Is it just me, or did something move? Yeah, because it used to be that I, I was somehow able to press the regular walk speed button and just tap it and never clack on the floor. But since I started using this other computer, it somehow stopped working, and now I just have to use the super crawl speed, which doesn't exist in this freaking engine. It's kind of... Really annoying. Well, maybe it's some. It sometimes works, but I don't know. That's it's it's weird because normally you're supposed to go upstairs the back way, and this area looks a bit darker. Oh, that's because I turned off modulate shift. Yeah, of course. But it looks like I'm supposed to go up the really obvious frontal assault type way, and some of these lights are flickering a bit. Oh, what? 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 Who's who's he just walking around like he owns the place? I mean, you don't own the place. You work in the place. And if I were you, I'd have a bit more respect before my blackjack hits you in the back of the head and like a leech and injects a whole bunch of computer code that uh, basically says uh, function gain respect E as system call argument and then <laughs> teaches you respect is what I'm saying. God, people. There was something that I wanted to check out here in the libraries. I mean, it's it's a long shot, but they do exist, and therefore the fact that they exist kind of makes me think that I should just go in them all the time because, uh, you know, uh, boxes exist, and I obviously go in them all the time, and doors, I open and close them, although whatever. Yes, that's... What? They're... Oh, they're actually just textures on a wall. Oh, well then. Oh man, you know, there was these guys patrolling outside that they seem to have gone off into a little nook outside of the door, and I'm kind of curious, I mean, I'll have to run around outside to see if there was anything there, but uh, it seems like, like I didn't really see them come back around, it was a little what was odd. Let's run and just scout out things and, and, oh. I see, okay, so there's a place here, and there's a lone guard just standing there, not caring about me for way too long. Uh... <laughs> oh, crap. Is this... Get out of the mansion through the back gate. That means I'll always be able to check that out throughout the mission, so I guess I'll do that later. However, I saw some wood up here, and I wonder if I can... fit through there, maybe. Maybe not, but I just have to check, because wood... I like wood. I am the totally straight male, so... Oh, oh, whoa, oh, whoa! There's there's two gems and a switch? What have we here? I'll flip the switch and not really notice anything different happening. Um... Okay, then. I, I don't know what that switch did, but... <laughs> Well, maybe it's something outside or in another part of the mansion. Uh, who knows? 
In however, in other news, in order to get down, this arrow is going to have to be mighty flat to the wall or not. That was totally a thing that worked. So anyway, I'm talking quietly because I kind of have to. Because I kind of have to. Um, be quiet because I, I do. Well, I certainly can understand what people are saying about marble now. And also the guards are pretty alert to bits of their environs becoming, uh, becoming slashed. What? I didn't even do anything. Waste of an arrow. Well, anyways, I just, I'll just keep it as having right. been wasted. I hear you. This isn't even out, freaking fair. Don't move. It's not. I can't, I cannot move on this marble. I could use mosses, but like what? I've got three. Mm. This map is a total lie. There's guards there, and there, and there, and there. Well, now hang on here. There's this little passage. It almost looks like this was opened up by that switch, maybe? Possibly? I don't know, but it looks like a new place. So there's a, another switch. Ah, it must have been that switch. Flipping switches all day long. Flipping them back and forth. It's very, 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 very fun, I say, in an extremely professional voice. Where does this lead? Possibly back to this side, which is yet another door. Well, instead of going upstairs, I can go downward, which is the complete opposite direction of where I need to go. And I'm not talking quietly anymore. I don't oh, like the looks of this. Oh, you don't, do you? Well, those things probably spit stuff at me. What have we here? You are an intruder in, in my mansion, therefore you must die. Oh, I see. A spider. You know how I take care of y'all. One arrow, bam. Not very scary, but, uh... I was thinking that, uh, you know, maybe I had to pick the correct chest here, like, You chose white sleeves. But no, it looks like they're just blatant offerings, and if I didn't read the note, I wouldn't have even been in any semblance, semblance of danger whatsoever. But uh, now that I get to pick the chests, it's all good. It's all good. Absolutely everything in the world is good, including Hitler and... No, uh... I'm joking, people. You guys got to realize when that is a thing that's going on. Well, I seem to have gotten quite a lot of loot, and I'm almost kind of close-ish to my loot goal already, even though I'm not really barely anywhere. That's actually pretty amazing. So, uh, <laughs> um, yes, yes, it definitely is. So I'm going to try this, this other, um, well, no. Maybe I'll try a mosser. I'll use one of my mossers. I mean, after all, that's why I have them. I just, I just don't like using equipment because I'm not that kind of guy for some reason or other. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Damn it. Right. Allow me to sneak as far as possible. Uh oh. Lights out, quickly. Okay. Okay, made it. Now there's gonna be a guy coming right out in my face. Very, very sh- Uh-oh. Doesn't matter, I'll take both of you down. Down. Don't worry. Into the fire. My business is not being found, sir, and I don't think that I would do something that's dangerous to my business. I am, after all, the consummate American. I'm so American that I, I can't even be American. I ended up being Canadian. I'm just that badass, people. It's, it's just ridiculous. I like that star ceiling thing there. It's kind of magical and mystical and wistical and wustical and all this weird stuff, and I don't like how I can... Yeah, well, whatever. Tap on the floor. Tap on the floor. God. This is not tap dancing, and we don't wear stupid shoes. Okay. This is some kind of wizard dream mystical thing, and I'm tempted to slash a banner, but since people know this, I'm tempted to also not slash them ever, because because they might notice. Probably notice doors open, and... Oh, crap. There's that guy who miraculously did not hear me. And... Where's that... Where's his partner? No, wait, is that... Is that... Hmm. Okay, well... 
Never mind. It's time for the normal technique of putting out lights. This is some standard, like, uh, classic thief gameplay here. Is that guy coming looking for me? No. Okay. Another moss. Is it gonna be worth it? Who the hell knows? How far does it go? Man, that sound effect is memorable from some place or other that I remember. I don't, I don't really know. But this is just not good design on the floor with marble tiled stuff everywhere. This isn't even supposed to be marble. It doesn't even look like it. it doesn't even look like anything. It's like stone. You should go like, not like clink, clink, clickety, clink, clink. Hey, it looks like I can slide across the wall and bug out the engine somehow. Not ever tap. This, this is glitch There's abuse. There. Over there. 505. I don't really like you guys, you know. I wanted to ghost past some of you guys, I really did, but uh, these, these marble floors are making me uh, rather angry. Marbles, they make me angry. I just throw them and I roll them and uh, I smash them against the wall and I freaking replace my eyes with them because they allow you to see better and uh, you have really end up having really b beautiful facial features and then uh, all the all the chicks are just like you've got beautiful eyes oh my god and then you're like I know and then you show them your old ones where they're all bloody and disgusting and they're like that's so cute where am I even going with this babbling the library please return all books to the shelf when you are finished with them any purchase inquiries should be directed to Joram uh, oh really well this is not however a grand library you can tell because it is not locked or something oh man Look at all the look at those guys. You know what? I'm not even gonna go here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go in this other door because screw that library. I don't like its face. Nope. This seems to be leading very slightly upwards. It can't be another, you know, it's not the the third floor, it's merely like the, the second point two. And this floor looks like yet more tile. Uh I this is pretty much this kind of thing that, like, makes the core gameplay annoying is something that can override a lot of other, like, really good stuff about the mission. To me, it's like, this Stop mission is really right good, here. but I mean, Help. it's the little things that make it super annoying and, Save me. and, and stuff. <clears throat> Dining room key. Also, the, I, I totally forgot that I saw a key on one of those guards. Um, who cycle around down there. Uh, but I, I forgot to try to go and pick it off them, so I guess I'll have to do that later on or something. No water arrows for me, just completely failing. And, oh, there's Talia. I want to say it Talia because pronouncing it Talia reminds me of Carmageddon 2 and that one very blatant low lowbrow uh, opponent whose first name was Jenny. So uh, not making this up, people. Oh. It's a spoon. I thought it was another key. Hmm. Please wash hands thoroughly before preparing meals, but don't use any periods. They're, they're very bad. Or full stops or half stops. Entry number one. I'm glad the master's men enjoy our dinners. Talia is our best cook so far. She does well by pleasing them. Oh, does she? Yesterday she made a succulent roast of lamb with mouth-watering peas, carrots, and potatoes. She uses special ingredients and spices. The master is aware of this and has increased the budget available for purchasing ingredients. We are sure she will be in the master's list of servants to keep and reward. 2. Alexei keeps washing his golden plate. How many times does it need to be dunked in water? It doesn't even look dirty, but he insists on washing it himself. He won't let the servants near it. We wonder what he's doing, but it is best for us not to pry. We wonder at the complexity of this mansion. Strange bells can be heard from the dining table. They are no doubt special bells that the master has installed in one of his many rooms. Three. The gold allocated for purchasing ingredients and food has been augmented by another 20%. The master's men are quite pleased with us. If we keep pleasing them, perhaps we shall get another increase on our payments. Nice. You know, that's just what your goals are in life. For servants, increase your pay and don't die from scurvy. <laughs> Four. Lord Ramses came over for dinner tonight. Talia insisted on preparing dinner, yet the preparations were to be made by a new cook to test her abilities. Strangely enough, they chose to eat upstairs in Alexei's quarters. We hope everything goes well with their plans. 
a new cook to test her ability. Okay. Fine. Fine. Uh. is what I say when I don't know what to say. Instead of supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, I just make a truncated, you know, macro for short variable called pfft. It's, it's, it's amazing. So, uh, I think that I shall leave this feast for tomorrow because it's a very feastful feast indeed, and it seems quite delicious, and we wouldn't want to stuff our tummies and become a balloon, or a blueberry, or a basketball, or a baseball, or a hill. See ya.